Good morning, my friends, and happy All Saints Day. It's Wednesday, November 1st. It is the day when we celebrate uh, the communion of saints, those who have died and gone ahead of us that we love. Just picture who's going to be there waiting for you at the welcome home sign. Whoever they are, those are your saints, and they certainly don't have to be perfect people, but they need to be the ones that um, make it heaven for you. I mean, if they're not there, it wouldn't be heaven. So your communion of saints are those who love you and you love that have gone on ahead of us. And we're looking at this for the last day. We're looking at this um, incredible mosaic from a church in Istanbul that's now become a museum. The first steps of the Virgin working towards her mother, looking like a full-grown woman in miniature. One of the things that's interesting is she's leaving the arms of a, what looks like a Roman woman, an imperial woman, who's well off, young. This is an interesting blend of the ancient um, and the empire, the church and the empire, which would have been typical of that time of the 14th century. The church was very much uh, in relationship with the powers of uh, government. So Mary walks from one authority to the other, so to speak. And speaking of authority, we continue in the book of Ezra. Darius is searching for a document to validate the fact that his father Cyrus gave, or grandfather I guess it was, gave an order permitting the Jews to rebuild their temple. Well, sure enough, they find this document in the archives, good to keep records, and they, um, they read this document in Aramaic. It's, it's in the book of Ezra. And in this document, Cyrus says that as emperor, he wants them to rebuild their temple so that they can pray for him. What an interesting and wonderful way of governance. Rather than trying to control or put down a culture, he lets that culture thrive in the knowledge that in doing so, his benevolence will be more powerful than his oppression. That in letting them thrive and celebrate their God, he will become great in their eyes. And sure enough, he was and still is remembered as a great ruler. Um, so they complete the temple and they celebrate and they sacrifice and they give thanks uh, for this incredible ancient ruler who understood that the greatest power doesn't lie in trying to oppress, but rather allowing the diversity of the world to thrive and celebrating it. An ancient ruler with an enlightened way of doing things. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this All Saints Day, we thank you for all those we love who have died. And as we picture them in our mind's eye, we, we long to see them again, but we know they watch over us as part of your communion of saints. We give you thanks for the gift of love. We give you thanks for the hope of the resurrection and knowing that one day we will see these people that we love again. We ask you, Lord, while we are on this earth that we might serve you, that you might show us what is our vocation, our call, our job, our our song to sing, no more and no less than what you call us to do. Help us not to take on all the troubles of the world, but to understand that we have a certain purpose here and to find it and do that purpose to which you call us. Help us to learn to walk in your ways as Virgin Mary did. We ask you to bring peace to this world, Lord. We ask you to bless the sick and the suffering, those who've endured trauma and violence, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness of any kind. We ask you to bring peace to this country, to the Middle East, to Ukraine, to the areas where we've had shootings. Bring us peace and give us 
a love and reverence for this beautiful earth that you've made. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loves us and leads us onward and upward. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.